Hannah Cockroft led from the gun to take gold in the T-34 800m in Rio. Given her success in the discipline, it's hard to believe she only started competing in it just over a year ago. So how did she have to adapt her training? Training changed in the fact that I already pushed long distances, but I had to push long distances at a higher speed, which, which was challenging. And for me, I had to start pushing those long distances and stay in my chair. So obviously for the 100, I can get out of my chair, stretch my legs. Unlike a lot of the girls, I've got full feeling in my legs. So to sit in the chair is quite uncomfortable. Um, but as well, it was finding the right balance with my coach between sprint training and distance training, mm -hmm. which not many athletes have to do. So it was splitting the week and, and saying like I could still focus and be strong over the sprint because that will always help me in the distance. But mm -hmm. how do I get those extra miles in? How how do I push those distances? And um, yeah, really, it, it was just about trusting my coach and knowing, mm -hmm. thinking hopefully that she knew what she was doing. And so what is it that makes her relationship with coach Jenny Banks work so well? Me and Jenny work well. It is it is down to trust. It's just down to trust and. I didn't really know how to train for an 800 meter, so I mm -hmm. had to believe that she did. And um, again, like I said, it worked. But also just about respect and respect about being an athlete is not just about uh, racing. It's not just about training. Mm -hmm. It's not about everything that you think an athlete is about. It's about, you know, for, for a, a parent athlete, come in and, and be with your sponsors. I'm here with Irwin Mitchell tonight. And mm -hmm. and just, uh, just trying to get that little bit of extra, you know, the next part of life sorted out at the same time. So. For Jenny, it's about accepting that I have to do that and, and finding time for me to bounce in. And for me, it's about accepting that sometimes I'm not always going to like what Jenny said to me, but I'll just have to get on with it. 